All right, everyone, welcome back to my best theory guide for the Mandrake of Brigandine, the Legend of Renarzia. So I'm your host for Ask the Trigger. If you want to subscribe or like and all that, that would help the channel grow. I would very much appreciate that. But what I would love also, maybe just even more so, is that you leave a comment and let me know how much, how many Mandrakes do you use on your team? Do you love using the Mandrake? Is this one of your favorite monsters in the game? in this new version of the game. Now, I gotta say before we get into this, I actually said this so many times, so many videos, that I think the Mandrake should be able to heal in the forest the same way as the Mermen heal in the water, and they actually listen to my suggestion. <laughs> I think it's awesome. But yes, the Mandrakes can actually heal in the forest now, and there are three types of them. So the Basilisk turns into a full-on tank, whereas I think it's a little bit different with the initial here, and I think the Mandrake is a little more of a flanker. Maneater is more of a tank, and then the Basilisk is a full tank here. But they do have ranged attacks right from the get-go. So let's go ahead and check this out here. So we're looking at, you know, kind of basic beginner, you know, stats here. We're looking at this sort of thing here. They do have MP, which is used for some special skills. Uh, no actual true magic abilities. Uh, they have three mobility, so it's not that far, kind of thinking about clay golems and all that. But if we look up to the Maneater, it does get an additional movement. And the Basilisk just stays at four. They really just excel at moving through forests, really. So just think of these guys as more like tanks, not like full-on physical attackers. But they have a lot of status abnormalities that make them quite useful. So let's check out some skills here. Let's look at this. Uh, they have the Numb Bite. Here, 20% chance of afflicting paralyze. It's quite strong. And the numb powder, also 20% chance of paralyze. Now this is a two ranged space attack that they can do. So they can shoot needles at people from two spaces away. And this is the normal attack. But it means that essentially with every attack they do, they could paralyze you. That is quite the ability. All right, so what they have is they're immune two other mandrakes. So right off the bat, it's a little better than the Titan class because the Titan class can stun each other until they get to the second tier. Right off the bat, they're immune to paralyze. Okay. Forced hit point recovery of B. Now this is something I suggested in so many other videos. I think they must have listened to one of them <laughs> just to get this idea. Or maybe they had the same idea I had. I don't know. Nobody's confirming it with me, but I'm just uh, creating a, a, it's, it's a game theory. You know, but uh, the point is 5% of the max total HP right there. So that's actually really cool. So 5% of that would be 25 hit points back, if I'm calculating that right, from 500 HP. You know, 50, half of 50, 25, you'd get back every turn, which is pretty cool, but you have to get it back in the forest. So that's the trick. That's the tricky trick. So you got to be in a forest. So if you're taking these guys and putting them all in the water and all these weird places, I see people playing a game and they they don't put the mandrake in a forest. They have a play. They have a play to put it in a forest, and they're just like, man, I don't really need to. I think you're losing out some extra hit points, buddy. But uh, all right, let's look at the upgrade here for the man eater. And so if we look at this. We're seeing that the hit points and intelligence are growing a little bit more here. And so hit points plus 5, they get 80 extra hit points. Defense goes up by 10. Now the attack does go up, the strength goes up, and the mobility goes up. So that's really coming down to the fact that hit points and defense going up the most make this more of a, a basic tank here, but is what we're looking at. And this thing is going to be the contender to the snake class, you know, going forward, because green beats blue, right? So that's essentially what we have here. They are forced preference. So they love the forest. Um, all right. And the difference between the level up magic costs is 70 to 90. So 20 points extra is quite high. It could be almost too heavy for your team sometimes. Perfectly the best level up point uh, for most classes is 15. Some classes are 10 actually. But anything over 15 is is quite a big jump with being able to fit this in your team. So, gotta gotta make sure you look at 
this and see if you actually have the space to put it on your team. Also, the intelligence is quite low here, so this is... Uh, Got to be careful of bombs. <laughs> Magic bombs. <laughs> Exoblast would especially hurt this thing. Uh, even even Fallberg. Uh, any kind of spell is going to hurt this thing tragically high. Uh, so let's look at some extra skills here. So they go up from Numb Bite to Numb Crunch. Numb Powder to Strong Powder. Chance actually went up a little bit by 5% for the basic attack for inflicting Paralyze. And then we look at Stone Gaze. This is the new one that actually, like, you can do this particular attack and it'll stone the enemy. But it has a 20% chance to petrify. So when I say when I say stone, I also mean petrify. A lot of people intermix the two words there. But essentially that's what that does. So you can petrify. And the difference between paralyze and petrification, if you didn't know, is that petrification lasts the rest of the battle unless it's cleansed. And Paralyze will fall off within one to two to three turns. So this one is like the meat and potatoes of what you want to get to and do, really, essentially. Now, it's not a ranged attack, but it's basically just the better version of Numb Crunch with Petrification. All right, magic, no magic, abilities. Okay, now we're looking at hit point recovery of A. So it goes up by 10%. So this monster now, 10% instead of the 5 we would get back 10% of that, that would be 58, 58 hit points versus 25. So self-healing in a forest, this is how you're going to keep yourself alive. And you're really just tanking things. If you don't want to move forward, but you want to hold your position, just throw your needles forward. You have a free attack all the time. You know, you got that secondary uh, attack that can hit from a range. So let's look at... Uh, how far can these needles go? Deals moderate damage to a single enemy unit within a 4 hex radius. 4 hex? I thought it was 3. We'll have to look at... Uh, we'll have to look at that real quick. Here, let's... Oh wait, I'm on the basilisk part. Oops. <laughs> Whoops! Let's see here. Three hex, yes, yes. The man eater is three hex. Okay, good. I somehow moved down to the basilisk. All right, let's look at the basilisk here, and uh, check things out. Hit points, uh, egregiously higher. Uh, very, very good. 130 defense. Very good defense. This is a stronger tank than before. They are hard to kill, and they're also something that you kind of want to avoid because if you get hit with the venom, and you get paralyzed, it, it just throws off your whole game but um, they're, they're very formidable for defensive tanks here so let's look at this but yeah the numb powder is four range space away so they're very good at surviving once you get them in basilisk I'm just saying and we look at this and the gorgon gaze is a 40% chance of inflicting petrify which I'd have to say is Almost 50% chance. I've seen this thing petrify a lot. Very good at that. Now, if you're going to fight off against a Titan or a Golem that you cannot petrify, you're going to lose the battle 9 times out of 10 because it'll still probably be able to hit you if you're not in a forest and you just won't deal that much damage to it. So Titans are kind of the weakness here. Uh, and Dragons as well. So it's got, uh, we're, we're looking at forest hit point of B, to, well, that was for the original Mandrake. Then we went up to 10%, and now we're going up to 15%. So 15% is even more of what we just talked about last time. I have to try to calculate that. 15% of 620, well, 10% would be 62. And then half of that would be 31, so... 93 hit points back a turn in the forest. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. You get 93 hit points back. Hit point recovery per turn. For this particular basilisk right here. If it sits in the forest. Hit point regain. That's awesome. So, these guys can be great tanks. If you cho if you choose to use them the right, correct way. Um, but initially, they're just going to be kind of like flankers. They can be used as tanks, but they're just... 
not as strong until you get it up to man eater right so let's go ahead and do a class change here let's see it at this next class and then we'll look at the final class that I've already got built so it looks like this purpley blue creature here and I can also change it into this too but I do have it sitting right here so I might as well just show you this and um, yeah so that's essentially the monster there I hope I covered it quite well let me know if I did or what you think about it it is a green orb monster so it will beat down monsters that have blue orbs but it is weak to red orb monsters or leaders or whatever and spells and all that quite weak to spells even at this high of level because we look at the intelligence it's yes it's 86 so it's not terrible but still exoblast is the strongest spell in a game based on its power and if it gets hit with that you're going to be looking at a 400 plus hit point loss in this monster it could take off half its life with a exoblast or flame spells so if you put gear on it to protect it and defend it give it more intelligence you can actually kind of make it a little better that way but other than that i'd have to say that the basilisk from mandrake is definitely a serious improvement from the previous games the previous games mandrakes were always a little bit of a letdown they were just basically flankers that's all you really could do with them i call them tiny tanks all the time because i just put them on the flanking side and tried to throw some needles at the enemy as a range attack and just kind of stuck to that but um yeah otherwise everybody thanks for coming by if you enjoy this kind of content please you know definitely hit the like and uh, leave a comment down below let me know if you use these guys all the time are you a mandrake user now because they're just so much better <laughs> let me know i'll see you in the next video i think what i have up next is going to be the dragon class so we're gonna go ahead and cover that there's a lot to cover there so that'll be a bit of a longer video considering all the elements you can go through but uh, other than that everybody take care and i'll see you in the next video or helpful guide video or lp video good night